Caroline had reached out to you in the past. How was she when you spoke to her? Well, this is what really upsets me because I, I know how it feels. To feel that low. And when someone reaches out to you like that and I felt I couldn't, I've not helped her enough because of idiotic people on social media trying to get a headline, trying to get more followers. I don't think they understand the impact that it has on somebody's mental health. It's so, so wrong on so many levels. And regarding our messages to each other, I don't know whether I did the right thing in putting those up on social media, but I do feel that her death cannot be in vain and that we have to kind of stand together and I had to show people what it's really like for people like myself and Caroline in this industry when you make a mistake and you're not even allowed to try and fix that mistake in privacy. I know how it feels when you lose all your contracts and, you know, everyone turns against you. It's horrid. And that me, myself, I'm a mother to five amazing children and Caroline is a human being who is allowed to make mistakes, we're humans. That is what we do, we learn from our mistakes. But the fact that she wasn't even allowed to even learn from this whole situation angers me so much. And Kerry, if there was to be one positive thing that would come out of this heartbreaking tragedy, what would that be? Hopefully that social media can take some kind of responsibility on messages that go out there. The press, now I... I use the press, I work with the press. I'm sat here in front of a camera now trying to promote and highlight online bullying. There's an aspect to it where I'll do a photo shoot advertising something. So I also work with the press. So it is a push and a pull kind of thing, but it's controlled press that we need to bring in, not just assuming and, and selling stories. And a close source says this and a close... Who are these sources? Ketchup and HP. I don't even know who these sources are. It's ridiculous. This, it's all hearsay. Get your facts right and realise the person you're talking about is actually a human being. Yeah, OK. Kerry Katerna, I really appreciate you talking to me under very difficult circumstances. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Um, and it's worth saying that we can't corroborate Kerry's claims regarding Fathers for Justice, but we will, of course, um, look into that. Um, and if you need to talk about how you're feeling, the Samaritans are there to talk any time. They promise to listen in confidence and without judgment. You can call them free on 116 123 or email joe at samaritans.org.